Hello, fabulous Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Well, it is a interesting and phenomenal month, I will say, a rare month. As we move to the middle of the month, fully four planets will be retrograde, including Venus. Now, at the same time, if you think about last month's, those lunar events that took place, the full moon and the new moon, they were quite something. There was a shock a minute in some cases. Well, that changes with much more stabilizing and inspiring lunar events. Now, whenever it is that the moon has an important lunar event, like a full moon or a new moon, you are going to feel it that much more because the moon is your ruling luminary. It is your representation in the sky. And I absolutely for you love the full moon that takes place right around the seventh of the month. It is happening in fellow water sign Scorpio. This is a part of the sky for you that has to do with what your heart truly desires. Now it is going to be that this full moon is standing across the sky from Mercury. So there's conversation, there's communication and negotiation, but at the same time, this beautiful, supremely harmonious connection with Neptune speaks to a sense of wonder. And for some, it might even feel like magic. Now, wherever it is that you are hoping to take your creativity further, you are hoping to share more of your creative vision, your creative voice, wherever it is that you're hoping for good news, where it comes to the children in your life, whether it's children you have or children that you want, wherever it is that you're hoping to take your passions and turn it into profit, it is going to be this full moon that helps you in all these ways and more. That connection with Mercury does say that there's a need to get other perspectives or to take different things into consideration. However, it is that beautiful connection with Neptune that has faith running so high, it can have things turn around you for the better. I love how this full moon helps you to truly know yourself, know what it is that your heart desires in every area of life. And then through the encouragement of others, find the pathway there. As we navigate later into the month, right around the 22nd is when we are going to have this month's new moon. This new moon is happening in the sign just before yours. And this is a part of the sky that has to do with what's happening on levels of soul and psyche and spirit. It's a very karmic part of the sky as well. Now, what I love is that this new moon is going to be speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn. This brings stability and this brings a sense of the events that transpire now set you up for a more stable and perhaps even successful future. It is going to be this new moon that speaks to new opportunities showing up and it isn't necessarily that you have to do anything. It represents good karma, but with this part of the sky so connected to what is happening on levels of psyche and spirit, this could be that sense of an energetic new beginning. This is clearing the way for the new and the next, which is right around the corner, which is the eclipse. One of the last eclipses to take place in your sign after a series of eclipses that has been taking place in your sign, not just this year, but last year as well. So you are being set up for this sense of change, this sense of a beginning, this sense of renewal even coming up next month. I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way, but it is going to be this new moon that clears the way, that helps you to know that inside, within you, you are stable, you are strong, and you are secure. Now that is a powerful feeling to have, but it is ultimately the space you create now that is going to allow that new and next to find you very much by surprise once we navigate into June. 
Now, where it comes to matters of love, yes, we do have the Venus retrograde going on, and I spoke all about that in the Venus retrograde special horoscope. So for this month, though, I'm going to focus more on that full moon because it is so romantic. And even though you want to take it into consideration with Venus retrograde and the sign just before yours, which speaks to karmic connections and being swept up in a moment that much more, that full moon will have you that much more happily swept up. It does promise quick flirtations and excitement, almost an awakening on a level of heart. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, it may feel like there is a flirtation uh, that you sense is almost magical or it inspires you, it opens you to love and knowing that there are options available to you in the context of love but just be mindful with the very dreamy energy of that Venus retrograde season that we are in, and with Venus going retrograde just days after that full moon, just pace yourself a little bit, but do enjoy the moment. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, that full moon is super supportive. I know that for some dating is taking place at a distance right about now, but this does look like a beautiful energy, perhaps even some sort of a reunion of sorts, a connection of sorts that feels very meaningful to you. And for those of you in an established bond, I do love this full moon. I think it'll have you feeling very in love with your partner, which is a lovely thing. But I do wanna also call your attention to the fact that Jupiter in your opposite sign is going to go retrograde in the middle of the month. And that tends to bring that much more focus on another person, especially partners. And so it may very well be that the Jupiter itself is magnifying that sense of connection that you feel. For some in established bonds, this could feel as if the relationship advances in some way, helping you to feel that much more connected and yes, in love as well. What I love about this month for you well, I do love that full moon because it is fun. It is joyous. And I know that as we start the month, there's various levels of social distancing and social isolation taking place for people. But by the time we get to that full moon, at least for you, a part of you is ready to have fun, to relax a little bit. Now, of course, you will find ways to do that. You'll find compromise within yourself and with others to do that thanks to Mercury standing across the sky, but it is no less magical nonetheless. There's a sense of excitement, a sense of being ready to let loose, and that desire in and of itself, regardless of how it's realized, will ensure at least one memorable and beautiful moment. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week. Unlimited access to special horoscopes like your Venus retrograde special horoscope and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.